everyone and welcome back to a, another video on my channel. I hope everyone's doing good and I hope everyone is doing well today. It's the match preview for Algeria's upcoming match against Nigeria. This game once again taking place in the brand new Olympic Stadium in Oran where Algeria now have a 100% record after playing one and winning one thanks to that 1-0 win against Guinea where Islam Slimani came on and scored the winner within a few minutes of entering the field which is going to now pose question marks which I think are unfair question marks on whether Slimani now starts over Delore because of his cameo appearance when he came on but we'll get to that in a second so we welcome the Nigerians of course for me one of the biggest teams the Super Eagles that aren't going to the World Cup they are a massive huge nation big population massive football nation big football fans and they're not going like us they were knocked out in those brutal nerve-wracking playoffs on the away goals rule after playing against Ghana and uh, I heavily expected Nigeria to breeze through that but of course Ghana changed the coach changed pretty much half their team so I don't think it's very hard to prepare for that game because there are unknown quantity at that point now Nigeria have actually played Algeria's local team a few days ago. They haven't got a, a friendly scheduled against someone else. They played Majid Bouguera's Algeria side as part of their preparation for the Chan. And they actually drew 2-2 to the Bouguera team of local Algerian league players. I'm talking lads like Halle Mir. I'm talking lads like Ayub Abdelawi were playing in that game, right? And they drew to Nigeria's first team. Now, I'm sure the Nigerians will say, we rested a few players. Iwobi scored in that game. He's just been nominated for Premier League Player of the Month. And he's playing against Majid Bagheras, like Yusma players and Muladia players. It's a bit of a madness. And it also means now, on the flip side, if Belmadi can't beat Nigeria or loses to Nigeria and Bulgaria drew to them with the local team, what does that say about our main national team? So there's a bit of that result. Although it was fantastic, it's put more pressure on Balmardi going into this game and plus it's a new stadium and we're actually going to have big fans in this one. I think that local game was behind closed doors or something so there's now pressure on Balmardi to deliver. Now Algeria did play quite, I don't want to say a weakened team but a lot of the stars were rested against Guinea. We know for a fact, we, we sort of predicted before the game that Algeria would play the main team in the Nigeria game because it's bigger opposition and a really good opportunity to test ourselves against one of the best nations in the continent. But for me, the Nigerians have struggled recently against North African opposition. They lost to Tunisia in the recent Africa Cup of Nations. And last time we played Nigeria, around two years ago in a friendly in Europe, Algeria won the game by one goal to nil, thanks to a goal from Ben Sabaini, who now seems to be the new captain of Algeria. So when Ben, ben Sabaini was starting, he had the armband, and um, Mares didn't get it when he came on. So does that mean Mario Ben Sabaini is now the captain but you're going to see a lot of Algeria's key players return to the fold so who's going to start for Algeria in this game well the goalkeeper for me it won't be Shail it will be either Zugba or uh, Alexander Okija now if you want to like just keep it consistent Zugba just kept a clean sheet you could keep him in there again although there wasn't really too much on target for him to deal with in the Guinea game of course there'll be no Rice and Bulhi or, or Anthony Andrea once again you could put Okija into this one I'd start Akija just to give someone else the opportunity to start to start a game uh, in this one. The back four has to be Algeria's back four. If Ben Sabeni is now the captain, he's going to play at left back. You expect either Yusuf Atal or Akim Zadadka to play at right back. The fact that Beniada lasted that whole game was a madness. If Beniada starts against Nigeria, against some of their attacking threats, which we'll come on to in a second, alarm bells are going to be ringing. Mandy and Tuba can play together at the back. Two guy didn't do a lot wrong for me, he done very well. Tuba has to start because he didn't start the last one. I assume Mandy was not going to play if Badalane didn't get injured. He had to come on. So, of course, that Badalane injury knock is a potential concern for the Algerian team in this game. And then that back four should be strong enough to deal, hopefully, with some of the Nigerian threats because they do play in some of the top clubs in Europe. Midfield, Benassa, Zaruki and Bentaleb. I want to see those three. Yes, you can go with two sitting and four attacking outlets, not against Nigeria for me. Vanessa, Zaruki, Bentaleb, solid as a rock. Bentaleb was probably the man of the match for me in the last game. That midfield three is good. We haven't seen Rizig. We haven't seen Zorgan. 
Um, I mean, it's a big call to throw Adams or Glenn in a game like this. I, I personally think that he's probably not at the level to play Nigeria at the moment, but if he wants to test him in the second half, then, then, we, might, then we might see that. And up front, well, this is where the question marks. You expect Morris is going to play on the right after the shift Adam Winners put in. You expect Yusuf Belayli is going to start on the left after Bilal Brahimi started the, the first game. And then up front you can play Amora, you can play Slimani, or you can play Andy Delors. Now, Delors got hauled after about 70 minutes. I don't think he did a lot wrong. I think he had scraps to deal with. He had two good shots, both on target. Um, the service around him wasn't as good because at the time he had Bilal Brahimi next to him. He didn't have Morris next to him. He didn't have Belayli next to him. So for me, Delors... I want to see him start again. But I think Belmadi might reward Slimani with a start because of the goal he did. Unless he sees Slimani as more of an impact player, in which you'll see Mohamed Amora um, start down the middle. So let me know your thoughts on the lineup down below. But with respect to Guinea, Nigeria are a better opposition. They've got a good side. They've got the likes of Calvin Bassi at the back. Um, they've got indeed the Iwobi now playing in the centre of the park. They've got some really good players. They've got Sanusi at left back. They've got Olaena at right back. The likes of Chukwezi on the wings, still got Ahmed Musa up front. You look at the choices, the likes of Dennis uh, can't even get into this squad. Um, Ozymen's injured at the moment, which is probably a bonus for, for Algeria. But, you know, Kelechi, Hanacho, there's some good quality in those areas. Even in the midfield, you look at the backup options, of the likes of Onyeka, who's, who's at Brentford. So it's a really talented squad. Again, it's a shame it's not going to the World Cup. But we have to be on our game. Um, you've got Luke coming in there as well, who's, who's switched to Nigeria recently from the England setup. So these are good players. But then, you know, if Algeria lose this game, where do we go from here? We've gone from being comfortable against Nigeria to losing at home in the new stadium in, in great conditions and Oran. Should be a good atmosphere again. Should be another packed full house in the stadium. Great to see the atmosphere is buzzing. Um, my prediction would be Algeria 1, Nigeria 1, and that's probably a fair assessment. Obviously, two teams. The motivation is hard to pick up these players because... You look at Nigeria's rivals, Ghana, they're preparing for a World Cup. You look at Algeria's rivals, Morocco, Tunisia, they're preparing for a World Cup. So it really is quite difficult, more than you think, to motivate a group of players when all your probably your club teammates are preparing for the tournament. And, and you look at these two teams being so close, having won their groups. Nigeria, by the way, if you think our qualification was brutal, Nigeria didn't lose a game. The whole process, from the first group game to the last playoff, they went unbeaten. The Super Eagles were unbeaten. They did not lose a game and they didn't qualify for the World Cup. System needs reviewing, but I think it will be changed anyway because the next World Cup will have nine, ten African teams in it. So it will be the group winners all advancing if, if that was the case. But anyway, let me know your score predictions in the comments down below. This game is on Tuesday, the 27th of September. Kickoff is once again uh, at 8 pm and of course. Um, it'll be on all those Algerian TV channels again. But let me know your thoughts on the game down below. It should be an absolute cracker. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.